strong when there's no love. Tagging in the city, all we wanted was a hug. Yeah. We on the block like every night to catch a buzz. Get it. Damn, tough situation, bro. Tough situation, man. So, before I get started, bro, I just want to send my deepest condolences to Big Pokey's family, his friends, all of his relatives, or anyone who knew him or that was close to him. You feel me? So, for those of you who don't know, Big Pokey, he's a rapper from out of Houston, Texas, bro. Like, he started out back, I think it was in the 90s. That's when he made his first um, official album called the hardest um pit in the litter and his last album was back in 2021 i think it was called sensei you know what i'm saying like he was pretty well known i mean like most people probably don't remember him but i'm sure y'all probably heard his music on the radio or somewhere you feel me so he was seen on stage in the video trying to perform he was gasping for air his body just collapsed i don't know like his body just shut down bro it hits the floor everyone trying to rush to help him lady saying she's a nurse she's trying to i'm saying trying to give some aid but unfortunately the dude passed away bro and even bun b was um seen on the media sending his deepest condolences so bun b says i wasn't ready for this one one of the most naturally talented artists in the city low-key humble mountain of a man who moved with honor and respect he was easy to love and hard to hate. He pulled up, do what he had to do, and head home. One of the pillars of the city. If Heart of a Gold was a person, iconic member of the SUC, there will never be another and will be missed dearly. We love and honor you, Sensei. Rest in heaven. For real, bro. It's a tough loss, man. Like, a lot of rappers been dropping out a lot lately, bro. I haven't gone cat, man. Like this year last year the year before that and so forth like like crazy like back to back bro and this person marley says um soon as someone died they was a legend but never been posted nor mentioned prior to their death that is true in most cases like i've heard most rappers said that before like they're not considered legends until after they pass away which is kind of effed up like like i've been seeing that a lot you feel me so that's no cap and this person says, um, bet they'll withhold his um, vaccination status. And this person replied to that and says, man, that had nothing to do with it. Y'all are too old to still be listening to BS you learned on Twitter. I mean, everyone has their own view on things, bro. Everyone thinks, some people think the, vac the vaccine is unsafe. Some people think it's safe some people think that's what killed him and some people think otherwise everyone is entitled to their opinion you feel me no one knows for sure what killed him we just gonna have to wait on the autopsy all we know is that the dude was on stage trying to perform he was gasping for hair and he just suddenly out of nowhere just hit the floor boom people trying to rush to help him and that was that we don't know anything else bro we just have to wait for the autopsy so this lady says black man health is wealth please don't be afraid to go to the doctor and get regular checkups keep your temple in good condition as best as possible that's a fact bro we gotta eat right we gotta eat the gym we gotta just stay consistent with the positivity of taking care of our body you feel me it's just a fact we're just gonna have to wait for the autopsy to come out bro but again i want to send my deepest condolences to his family, his friends, and all of his loved ones, you feel me? But I mean, y'all can let me know what y'all think about the story. Y'all know what time it is. Until next time, y'all. Yeah.